Hello everyone, it's Brandy here with Brandy'sCards.com. I'm excited, it's another Masculine Monday. That's right, we're gonna create another fun set of masculine cards for those special guys in your life. That's right, and uh, you know, a lot of times it's hard to kind of pull out those neutral colors and think about more of the masculine sets. If you open up our Stampin' Up! catalog, we have lots of different stamp sets in there, but a lot of times they're butterflies and florals and different things. Now, there are wonderful men out there that love flowers and things like that, but I have that covered. I have done lots of those types of cards. So I'm going to focus on some more earthy type um, cards for those hunters in your life, maybe, or the outdoorsman, um, the camper type person. So I've got some fun cards for you today. We're going to use the Wildlife Wonder stamp set. And um, let me just give you a sneak peek. Oh, here is one of them. This wolf is amazing. So cool. So we're going to make that one. And I also have a bear, but he's over this way. Um, but I'm excited. We're going to jump right in and I'm going to show you how we're going to use some super cool um, designer series paper is the background behind our masculine card. And the name of this designer paper, Texture Chick. I mean, who knew that we could use Texture Chick behind our, um, our masculine or our bear and our wolf. So really excited to show you how I created my cards today and we are going to get started. So Wildlife Wonder, this is the stamp set that I used and um, you know, just super fun. So let me show you the first card. This first card, there is no designer series paper involved. It is just 100% stampin' stampin' stampin', which you know, we love those kind of cards too. So I went ahead and I stamped my um, sentiment ahead of time, sending birthday wishes. I have another strip here, crumb cake, and then I have a basic white for my, um, you know, for my background. And then I have evening evergreen. What a fantastic color. So I'm going to pull up my grid paper and I'm going to show you kind of a fun stamp. So um, evening evergreen. So we're going to stamp evening evergreen on evening evergreen cardstock. And this stamp says, to a great guy. How fun. So what I'm going to do is I am going to stamp my background to a great guy. And so I am just sort of going back and forth here and adding my message. So this is kind of the background. So I want it to like, I want you to be able to see, you know, to a great guy. So I'm just adding you know my my message right here and i'm actually going to can you see this okay i'm actually going to go 2a and i'm going to try to hit it so you've got great so let's see if we can do that to a great and um you know there's the you know there's guy around here and we're actually going to put that on the front as well so we're going to set that aside and now i'm going to set this piece aside as well that's just my scrap and I'm going to put this on here and kind of set these aside. We're going to pull it again um, in early espresso. So I have early espresso. And now that I say that, we are going to emboss today. So for those of you that have never heat embossed before, I enjoy heat embossing so much. I think what I like the most is when you watch the embossing powder dry. I think that's really pretty cool. Um, but I do have some of you out there that have said, I've never heat embossed and I would love to see how to do that. So I'm going to show you just a really quick heat embossed image. So we're going to take this bear and we are going to ink our bear up in early espresso. So get him good and inked up. And I just want to make sure that um, my cardstock here is on the right side. Not that there's a wrong side, but I could tell that it was cut a little jagged. So I want to just make sure. So I'm going to stamp my bear and I'm going to stamp it more towards the top and you'll see why later. So I'm going to stamp that on there. And then what I'm going to do is I have some clear embossing powder. I'm going to sprinkle that over my image. Now you may have heard people talk about the embossing buddy. You could certainly, it's actually a little, little foam, little, dinky winky little pillow type thing. It's got powder in it. And you could certainly, um, it's recommended that you rub that over your cardstock 
so that, um, you know, so for static and that type of thing. Now today, I'm not going to worry about that, um, you know, but you certainly can if you would like. So I have my heat, to, uh, my heat gun or my heat tool. And so I am going to zoom down in on that so that you can see that a little bit closer and watch the magic as that dries. And so when you're embossing, you're melting the embossing powder and that's what creates that raised, really fun embossed look. So cool. So this is crumb cake cardstock, early espresso ink, and then you have the clear embossing powder, which is allowing it to dry and darken to that early espresso. Very cool. All right, so that's pretty fantastic. So let's go ahead and put this card together. Um, I have another couple cards to show you too. So we're gonna put that together. I have some evening, my evening evergreen that we stamped to a great guy. Yep, to a great guy. So that one's gonna go right here on the center or in the center of my card front. Then we're gonna flip this over. Of course, I like to add my foam adhesive dots. I like to add those um, underneath the image Kind of the image layer, I guess I would call it, on my tutorial. Speaking of tutorial, if you're looking for the sizes and the dimensions on this card, you're going to find it all on brandyscards.com. That's right. So I know some of you are going, okay, she needs sizes and dimensions. They're there. And I also have a PDF tutorial for you to download as soon as you finish watching this video. Feel free to go to brandyscards.com. And while you're there, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, make sure to click the contact and send me an email. I'd love the opportunity to earn your business, answer any questions you have. And of course, if you don't already have um, a Stampin' Up! catalog, let me know. I'd be happy to send you one. Just so you know though, when I do, it's gonna open up a big can of worms because our catalogs are fantastic. Um, absolutely wonderful. But I think more so you're gonna find it to be a wonderful inspiration um, and idea book. So they're pretty awesome for that reason too. Um, but brandyscards.com and if you're looking for this particular stamp set or you're looking for any other cards that I created with it, look for the magnifying glass. I believe it's in the top right hand corner. Click on that and then you would type in there wildlife wonder and this card plus others will come up. You can also click on tutorials and under that you'll see masculine cards. You'll also find it there too. All right, so I just put my foam dots behind my bear and I'm going to just add that right here to the top of my card stock, my basic white card stock. I'm adding a bit of liquid adhesive and we're going to center and adhere that to our card. To a great guy. Oh, I love it. Okay, so this strip here is going to go along the bottom. That's why I said I kind of put my bear up a little bit higher because I knew that I was going to add this white strip right here along the bottom edge. And I just want to make sure that um, you can't see any of the bottom of this, you know, this white layer down here. Now I've stamped my sending wishes, sending birthday wishes already. Um, I'm just going to cut my little banner. If you have a triangle punch or a square punch or something like that, you might just use that to cut your banner. It does make it quite nice and it does make it perfect. Although, I never have really worried too much about that. Um, I just go for it. Um, so here we go. I am setting this right about there. I liked kind of having the two layer or two dimension there. Now I've got, I'm going to bring back in these wonderful brass, um, you know, gems. So awesome. And um, I'm going to use, I guess I just really like that one. So I'm going to add that one right there. So this card is all done. Um, I'm excited though. I've got more to show you. So let's go to the next one. So let me show you the next one. Um, but first off, let's talk about the Texture Chick Designer Series paper. It's absolutely gorgeous if you haven't seen it. Um, and so this is new in our 2022 annual catalog. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And so when you flip it over, you get another set of gorgeous 
de designs, right? So look at that. Oh, so pretty. So many wonderful designs and so much to choose from. This is just gorgeous paper. And of course, you can see it's got that foil in it. So it's that specialty, which I absolutely love those foil elements. Um, so sometimes the catalog doesn't do some of these papers and things justice, um, but I love that one. Okay, so let me show you the next card we're gonna do today. So you're gonna need um, some evening evergreen, and let's just go ahead and build our card base. And we're gonna use the wolf. I think I showed you the wolf at the beginning, um, and I'm gonna show you how easy this one is to create as well. So here we go, we have our inserts. This is going to be um, the exact same size as your insert. This piece is gonna be the mat the matting here on the top. Perfect. Now I have also pre-cut, oh, look at that fun design. Woo wee, that's so pretty. And so this design, we are going to add to the top of our card, just like that. Then let's go ahead and cut, oh my goodness, I gotta cut one for my wolf, hang tight. I have some cardstock here and I have my cutting board. I'm always prepared and ready. Well, I guess not always because I didn't have him cut, but let's go ahead and do that. So let me show you kind of how I would do that. So I can see he's at three and then I'm gonna guess three. So it's a perfect square. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I need the cutting board to cut it. So he is three and by three inches, perfect. Okay, so now we can, um, let's go ahead and emboss our wolf. I did not do that on this first card, so I am really excited to try it on this card. Um, so we're gonna ink him up again. This is early espresso. We're gonna get that good and inked up. I'm gonna set him right about there, beautiful. And then I have my clear embossing powder and I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the top and we're gonna tap this off. Oh, I can't wait to see how like, how beautiful he will be embossed. I have not tried him yet. So that's the beauty of crafting. It all works whether you have embossing powder or not, you know, you can just stamp it and it looks amazing. So here, let me bring this down and let's emboss him and so you can kind of see as that melts it's not melting yet come on we got to let it get warmed up oh there it goes oh that is the coolest i could now you can go back and forth like this i try to just follow it once it starts kind of melting i tend to just kind of follow it and let it kind of finish off so here we go Kind of coming around. Let's go on this side. And it's just about done. I can see one little piece right there that's not embossed yet. Okay, I think that's a wrap. Oh, wow, that's just gorgeous, isn't it? So that is very, very, very pretty. Holy moly. Um, okay, so I wanna add some Stampin' Dimensionals behind this. Um, and so we're gonna add, you know, four or five of those in here. And then we're gonna center it to the front of our card. Yeah, we're gonna center it to the front. And whew, wow, look at that. Doesn't that pop just beautifully? Holy cow. Um, and then I've already stamped my sentiment. This sentiment was stamped in Evening Evergreen. And I am going to add, and you can see I practiced on one side and I got a little crooked, so Again, the beauty of having two sides to every piece of cardstock. And then this is where it's gonna sit on top under the wolf. And so we're gonna put that right across here. And I'm gonna just, I'm trying to line that up flush with this edge and also with this edge. Now the cool thing is, is I have those brushed metallic dots again. Yes, I know, I just can't give them up. I love them, just like I love those sparkles for the girls, right, or for the ladies. So um, there we go. So I have, this time I'm gonna use the brass ones though, or you know, these, these brass ones. So let's add one on here, maybe a bigger one down there. 
Actually, that one's too far away. I want it closer. Yeah, I want it a little closer. There we go. Now they look like they're friends. And then I'm going to put one right there. Oh, yeah. So pretty. So that is just another fun, fun look. And, you know, if you want, remember, I'm kind of onto these little strips right now. So here is a scrap evening evergreen strip. And I stamped the owl that's also in that stamp set. And then I did the decorative envelope to match. So that is another fun idea for you. Now, before I go, let's do one more. This one is also the Texture Chick Designer Series paper. This one is, um, you know, basic white for your card base. And I use, so this was the wolf. This is going to be our bear. So let's just add this here to the front. Yep, we're gonna just go ahead and add that right here. And I am going to come over here. This is soft succulent. And are you guys enjoying these cards? I hope so. I have to ask, if you haven't done so already and you're inspired by what I've shared with you so far, please be sure to click the like button. Um, click the thumbs up. And you can also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Of course, I love it when you leave me comments. I like to know, um, you know, if you're inspired, if you've used this set, if you have any questions, comments, which card you like the best, um, or maybe just share with me where you're from. I just, I love to see your comments and know who has popped by and who's enjoyed my projects and tutorials. So thank you so much um, for the thumbs up and uh, for subscribing to Brandy's Cards. I really and truly appreciate that. And of course, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, make sure you go to brandyscards.com and click the contact. Um, just fill that out, send me an email. Uh, let me know that you're interested in receiving a catalog. I send complimentary catalogs to my customers. Um, so I'm glad to do that for you. I'll just need your um, mailing address. That's right. So I've had folks send me their email and it's like, well, I need your mailing address if I'm going to send you some catalogs. So be sure to do that. Of course, if you're one of my current customers, I hope that you're enjoying your catalogs. We just had a new annual catalog launch and then we have a holiday catalog. Um, super, super cool. So July through December um, holiday mini, which is absolutely amazing. So lots more fun projects to come. Um, so if you don't already have a demonstrator, please let me know. I'd love the opportunity to earn your business, inspire you to create. Um, and I hope in hopes that you're gonna share those cards and send them out into the world. And in today's case, to those special guys in the, in, you know, the special gentlemen in your life. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and finish up today with a, another early espresso bear. So we're gonna just put him there. Oh, wow, isn't that beautiful? So he does not need to be embossed unless, of course, you want to emboss him, right? So I've showed you the bear embossed and now I've stamped him and he's not embossed and he is pretty fantastic. Um, really, really nice. So I am just going to um, set that all aside. Here is my um, soft succulent cardstock. I've got some linen thread here. You know, linen thread, holy woolly wonky, yowza. Well, maybe we anticipated that. Um, right? So you know what? There is nothing wrong with crafting. Like, you know, there's, you know, nobody knew it wasn't supposed to be wonky. So we're going to go with it. And I'm going to tell you the, I'm going to show you the first thing that comes to mind is how I might play that off. Okay. So I'm just going to tie. Now, generally I like to tie decorative bows. Um, but in this case, you know, I'm kind of sticking with my masculine theme. So I'm just going to kind of do a knot right? So I'm going to pull that tight and I'm going to do just do a little knot right in there. So then since you can see when I glued my cardstock down, it kind of got a little wonky and I think that's when I moved it, but I'm not going to stress about it. What if I kind of make him wonky as though, hey, I meant to do that. Yeah, nobody knows the wiser. Well, maybe y'all do, but you're not going to tell anybody, right? Um, so Let's just go ahead and make him a little offset. And again, that's just to kind of offset the designer series paper that I glued down wonky. So do we like it this way? I kind of do. Yep, 
I sure do. So let's do that. He doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then I have earliest, um, I'm sorry, this is evening evergreen. And this is to a great guy and it is crumb cake. And so I am going to take this piece and I'm kind of sort of mat it like that. And then we're going to add it right here to our bear. And we are just about done with this card. So we're going to add him. And oh, I'm starting to get wonky again. Holy moly. Um, and so I'm going to kind of keep it sort of off center like that on purpose. And then I'm going to look. All of a sudden, I am thinking that I really want my white classic matte dots. These are super fun, too. I know. You guys are shocked. You mean you're not going to use the brass ones? No. No, no, no. We're going to shake it up, you know? No time like the present. You've seen about 10 of them with the brass dots. So let's just go ahead and add some little white ones on here. So I'm going to just put a couple whoa, over there. Yeah, actually, you know what? I don't really like that second one. So should we put a second one over here somewhere? You know what? I kind of just like the one. What do you think? I kind of like just the one. Yeah, I don't know. Now I'm perplexed. Hmm. Yeah, I think no. There we go. No, no, because it looks like road apples or something. I don't think I want those on there. It looks like, it looks like, you know, anyway, well, I showed horses for years and years and years growing up, and so I'm very familiar. Um, okay, so I think that I am going to leave it just like that, or you know what? I might just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. I've got an example over here with the other dots, so, oh yeah, that's perfect. See, man, those, y'all got to have those now, don't you? They are fantastic. So here, check out this card. So this is straight. This is wonky, but I did this one on purpose, <laughs> right? All right, so check that out. So here, let's pull in all of our cards that I shared with you today. So, well, let's go ahead and just do that. And then we have this one, right? This you um, to a great guy. And then we have our wolf and then we have our bear. So much fun. Oh, so much fun. So I hope that I've inspired you to go and grab some designer series paper, even designer series paper that says textured chick that's like sparkly and fun can also be made into a masculine type card. Um, so just really cool. Just look at those textures and look at the designs and then look at the colors. Play into those colors when you're starting the design. Now, before you go, I want to share with you, um, you know, this masculine series. I have had so much fun sharing, and I certainly hope that I've inspired you too. So I do want to share with you, um, just recently I shared a video using these two cards. And so this was the Oceanfront stamp set in the Heron Habitat. Um, one of the things that I loved is this fun edge right here. And I think I brought the envelope to show you too. So check out this fun envelope. So it's kind of got a ridge and it's raised. It's really cool. Um, so I do have a video tutorial for you. Um, if you haven't seen it, you'll see it in my playlist here on YouTube. You can also find it on brandyscards.com. If you click on tutorials and then click on masculine cards, you're gonna find it there as well. Now for the adventurous guy in your life, um, I also did this fun kayak card. Um, there is a video and I use the soft pastels um, and I use the water painter to kind of make this fun background. Definitely very adventurous. And then we also did this beautiful set. Um, I believe it's called Kindness Treasured and absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of kind of the thinker, um, you know, the outdoorsman, but the thinker, the, you know, somebody who likes hiking or walking, um, nature for sure. Um, so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed my cards. You know what? We've got more Masculine Mondays coming. That's right, so make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to click the like button or the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and joining me today. Happy stamping. Bye, everybody.